Hi, this is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids, and I'm here on the set of WKID 96.7. I'm here with Adam and Bobo the Monkey Eric. We're here to do a radio show. This is the only station in the world that's owned and run by kids. Adam started his radio station in 2004 when his dad gave him an FM transmitter for Christmas. The local station is run through sponsors and donations, which has allowed WKID to go viral. Adam is the CEO and owner of WKID, which now includes over 25 kids. Adam's specialty is sports, and Eric, the future owner of the station, is a meteorologist. WKID 96.7. What's going on, folks? This is A Dog in the house, and I also have with me. Oh, the monkey. Ooh, my favorite interview. You caught me off guard. Um. I would have to say that Chris Angel interview, the poster right there. I would say that was my favorite one just because, I don't know, he, he's, he's a really cool guy. He's got a lot of knowledge and um, he's, he's, he's really nice. He showed me magic tricks. He spent an hour with us when he spent like 10 minutes with other TV and radio stations. And um, there's a lot of things that you can look up to in him, too. So if you could interview anyone, who would you interview? Um, I'm going to have to go with, like you said, Tim Tebow. Yeah. I, that seems to be everybody's choice, it looks like. Yeah. Tim Tebow or Percy Harvin. Oh, okay. Percy Harvin, who played for the Florida Gators, plays for Minnesota now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, one of them. Both national champions. Yes. Yeah. Or Barack Obama. That'd be pretty cool. That would be, that'd be really cool. <laughs> All right. Well, who's your audience that you aim your uh, radio station towards? Um, I, oh, I, I mainly aim it towards businesses and kids. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I play a lot of the, well, we play a lot of the top 100 music on WKID and, you know, a lot of the main stuff that a lot of the teenagers kids listen to, but it also good for businesses because, you know, I want them to know about WKID and, you know, to go into a business saying, this sounds like the song that I put on the playlist. And then now that they're playing, a business is playing WKID's radio station, that'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, what's your role in the station? Like, what's your kind of job, I guess you'd say? My job is to yell at this kid right here <laughs> and, <laughs> no, only a couple times. Actually, a lot of times. But, um... It's basically to oversee everybody, and as an owner, you need to know exactly what's going on, when it's going on, and how to fix something if something's going wrong. Whether there's an argument, you gotta know how to fix it. Well, uh, whether there's a board problem, I gotta know how to fix it. You know, a computer problem, I gotta know how to fix it. Um, or just if somebody's acting goofy on the mic, just, you know, give them a good little mute button. You know? <laughs> But yeah, just uh, basically basically oversee everybody, um, set up things such as interviews, press passes, uh, concerts and stuff, which I let them do because I'm not much of like a rock fan, concert fan type of deal. Okay. I usually like get the press passes and then I'm like, here you go director, here you go producer, go have fun at your concert. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I get, I get all the press passes, I'm in charge of everything, whenever somebody big calls. They're like, all right, please hold. I'll put you on the uh, on with the owner of Adam Adam Baker, and you know I talked to them because we had a, one time they didn't do that, and it didn't. Well, I mean it didn't end good. It didn't end well. It just like I don't know. It didn't. It ended <laughs> basically. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, basically to oversee everybody. Who's been your favorite guest that you've had in studio with you? Um, I'm gonna have to say Jeremy. Powell of the Florida Gators. Mm -hmm. He played for Pinellas Park High School football, uh, committed to the Florida Gators, and so you see the helmet right there. There's a football over there signed by him. But um, he was he was he was really cool in the studio. Quiet at times, but a lot of other just most of the time he's really like upbeat. Like a lot of people I've interviewed, really nervous, really quiet. But I like when I get the ones that are like really upbeat, you know, have a lot to say, mm -hmm. and you know, it's important important that they're saying it. It's not like those boring things. <laughs> I've had a couple of those type of interviews, but yeah. like, 
TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> As a Florida Gator fan, do you watch um watch how the Florida Gators players progress into the NFL? I do. I like to since I'm looking at being a football coach right. also and of course sports casting and everything, I like to I'll see all the recruits. I, I look at them like every single day, you know, uh -huh. who's going to go to Florida next, uh, what are their, you know, abilities, whatever, you know, how, how do I think they're going to do it, Florida. Yeah, I like to watch them progress a lot of times, going from University of Florida to, you know, NFL, AFL, whatever it is. What makes you want to become a coach? Um, I don't know. I just like, I, I like, I don't know. Not not necessarily teaching. I definitely wouldn't want to be a principal. <laughs> Couldn't be a principal. But um, I, I don't know. I just like teaching football, and I'm it's it's something that I'm good at doing. I like doing, and I think that I could possibly make a career out of it. I coached uh, flag football, and we did really good. We we had the best record in flag football over the coaches that already had experience in doing it. And it was my first year. Yeah, I mean, I just you know interacting with the players, teaching them, you know, a better technique of how to do a certain thing, and, you know, just the feeling of winning a football game is, you know, I don't know, it's, 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 it's a really good feeling, and then you're like, wow, I want to do this more, you know, keep doing it. It's just something fun. I heard that your flag football team was only really good because you had a really good quarterback. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> right here, Bubba the Monkey was my quarterback. He was the shortest... Were you the shortest person on the team? Yeah, I think I was. Shortest person on the team. The best quarterback. The close to best wide receiver. He was making one-handed catches out there when I didn't have him at quarterback. Um. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was... <laughs> yeah. Bubba the Monkey is a pretty good quarterback at times. Pretty good at times. <laughs> Go ahead, give us a liner real fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Sue Nikki from WKID Studio of Sports Talk for Kids, and you're listening to WKID 96.7. Cool. That was ter that was terrific. <laughs> we have like grown adults. We have grown adults come in here, and they don't even know that I do it. They're like, "Wait, what's the radio station called?" Or they'll be like, "How do I do it?" That was perfect. <laughs> Thanks. And you said you've never been on a radio station never before. Never on the radio before. Wow. That was perfect. You know, you need to start getting the radio, too. All right. Just make your own little kid also, and then you know, you do both things. All right. No, Thanks. but, yeah, thank you so much for coming in here, guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. WKD 96.7 signing off. That was an interview with Nick Gardner. WKD, back to the music.